The drone strike on the Russian Putin Special Forces University in Chechnya could have been carried out from Dagestan, Ukrainian NV media outlet was told by sources in the security services. The showdowns that took place in Moscow recently in the business center and so on, they are all connected, the source said to NV. Earlier, the head of Chechnya, Ramzan Kadyrov, said that on the night of October the 29th, drones attacked the Russian Special Forces University, named after Putin in the city of Gudamez. According to him, there were allegedly no victims or injured and the fire was extinguished. Russian telegram channels wrote that this was the first UAV attack on Chechen territory. On October the 16th, it was reported that Kremlin regime spokesman Dmitry Peskov recommended that Kadyrov contact the police if his life was in danger. He made this statement after the Chechen dictator complained about the alleged preparation of his murder due to the conflict around the Wildberries marketplace, one of the participants of which is the senator from Dagestan, Suleiman Kerimov. The leading expert on Russian studies at the Ukrainian Institute of the Future, Igar Tichkevich, explained the essence of the conflict between Kadyrov and Kerimov. The dispute arose over control over the Wildberries Company, 99% of which belongs to Tatiana Bakalchuk, Ni Kim, and 1% to her husband Vladislav Bakalchuk. After they decided to part ways, Tatiana Bakalchuk carried out an operation to merge Wildberries with the outdoor advertising company Rus controlled by Suleiman Kerimov. As a result, a new legal entity, RVB, was created with Robert Mirzayan, director of Rus, as its director. Kerimov, who initiated the merger, received not only formal permission from the anti-monopoly authorities, but also the approval of Russian dictator Vladimir Putin in order to carry it out. Vladislav Bakalchuk, who is trying to lay claim to half of the business, has turned to Ramzan Kadyrov. Tichkovich explains this by the fact that Tatiana Bakalchuk was born in Grozny and Kadyrov not only monopolized power in Chechnya but also claims the role of arbiter in business and other disputes affecting the interests of Chechens and people from Chechnya. Therefore, he considers interference in her business a natural process, especially considering that her partner is a competing business clan of the people from Dagestan. As a result, Kadyrov's security forces staged a shootout near the Wildberry's office, killing two English security guards hired by the Kerimov clan. Tichkovich explained that it is still difficult for Putin to decide which side to support, since he has already approved Kerimov's initiative, but public humiliation of Kadyrov could undermine the agreements with his clan that were reached during the Second Chechen War. Meanwhile, Kadyrov accused Kerimov of allegedly preparing his murder. After this, the head of Dagestan, Sergei Melikov, spoke in support of Kerimov. He spoke about the merits of the Russian senator and promised that Dagestan will always support him in difficult times when it is needed. South Korea and U.S. forces conducted a joint military exercise on Wednesday, amid escalating tensions with North Korea following reports that Pyongyang has sent troops to Russia. The drills took place at a live-fire training complex in Pochon, northeast of Seoul. AH-64E Apache helicopters of the U.S. Army participated in the exercise with the South Korean Army's 901 Aviation Battalion. The Allies have been stepping up their cooperation in security and defense as North Korea continues to ramp up hostilities by testing new weapons and dispatching troops to Russia to support its war with Ukraine. Officials from Seoul and Washington said last week that 3,000 North Korean troops have been deployed to Russia and are training at several locations. South Korean officials said North Korea eventually aims to send a total of 10,000 troops to Russia.
purpose of today's exercise is to test the combat readiness, not only of U.S. aviation, but also the ROC aviation and how we partner together.